Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Now today I want to talk to you about some of the new features we got with the latest Samsung One UI 5.1 update. So this update came out a few weeks ago and Samsung has introduced a lot of really new great features to our Samsung devices. And I want to go through some of these and show you exactly what our phones are capable of. So let's get started with the very first feature that we got, which is the ability to crop photos out of their background. So you can see I have a picture here of me when I went snowboarding. And if I want, I can actually tap and hold on the subject and you can see how it lifts it out of the background. And now I can just save this to my gallery. I can copy it or I can share this with somebody. So if I want to send it via email, or to text it to somebody, I can do that here. And it also works just as well with images that you download from the web. So you can see I have a picture of this Porsche here and I can just as easily crop it out and save it to my gallery or send it to somebody else. All right, guys, now the next new feature we got with One UI 5.1 is this new battery widget ecosystem, which looks like a lot like what the iPhone has. So if you have any Bluetooth devices connected to your phone, like a smartwatch or your uh, earbuds, you'll see the battery percentage of those devices right here. So you can see I have my S Pen. I don't have anything else connected and it does come in two different variations. So we, if we go back into our uh, widgets right here, go to battery, you can see that there's also this option that we have right here. So if we drag this out, this is what this one looks like. So they look pretty nice. And the more devices you have on here, obviously the more things you'll see on here, but I believe this one is limited to just four devices, but this one will show all the devices you have connected to your phone, no matter how many you have. So definitely a pretty cool feature if you like seeing all of your battery percentages. Now, another useful widget we got with One UI 5.1 is the new Bixby Vision widget. So if we go back into our widgets, you can see right here, we have Bixby Vision. And if I drag this out onto my home screen, I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. So this is actually a really useful feature. I really like this. So if we tap on text, what we can do is point our camera at anything while, while we're out and about. We could point it at a sign or some uh, big billboard and it will extract all of the text at on that billboard. And you can also do the same thing with pictures in your gallery. So I was out and about today and I took a picture of this for sale sign. And if I open it up in my Bixby vis uh, Vision widget, you can see that it scans all the text on here and now I can interact with it. But what's really cool about this is you can see that we have a website here and a phone number. And if I tap on the phone number, you can see I get an option to call this number directly from here. It'll identify the number and I can call it. And if I tap on the website, you can see I can go directly to their website. This is so great because instead of having to write this down or keep looking back and forth to get the number or the website, I can just go directly from this picture to their website or give them a call. Definitely a really powerful feature. And then if we go back to that widget, you can see we also have a translate option right here. So what we can do now is point our camera at something and it will live translate the text for us. This is amazing if you're out and abroad or you're traveling and you don't know the language, you can use your phone to translate everything in front of you. And to show you how this works, it's actually really amazing. You can see I have a book right here. This is a Russian book. So if I just open it up to some random page and you can see right here, it's set to auto. So I haven't even selected the language that I'm translating it from. So if I don't even know what language it is, the phone will identify it for you and translate it. So right now, if we just do this, you can see that it actually is translating that text live on the camera. Let me refocus my camera here. And there you go, just like that. You can see everything in the book is written in Russian, but on the camera, I'm seeing it in English. This is insane. So if I actually flip to the next page, there you go, you can see it translates all of the text to English. So this is insane. It just works live as you're using your camera. Anywhere you go, anything you point at is going to keep translating it for you. Such an awesome feature, definitely useful. Again, if you travel and you don't know the language, this is definitely going to save your life. All right, guys, let's move on to the next One UI 5.1 feature that we got, and that is performance profiles. So you can select whether you want your phone to prioritize battery life or performance. And to do that, what you do is go into your phone settings, go down to battery and device care, tap on battery, and then scroll down to more battery settings. And then right there, you'll see performance profile. So if we tap into here, you can see we get an option between standard and light and standard will just give you a healthy balance between processing speed, battery life and cooling efficiency. But if you're somebody who wants more battery life, then you might, you can switch this to light and you can see it will prioritize battery life and cooling over processing speeds. Now, the next feature we got with One UI 5.1 is the ability to set wallpapers for different modes. So if we go into our phone settings and then go to modes and routines and then go to this modes tabs down here, you can see we have all of these different modes that we can activate when we're doing any of the following activities. So let's say we have a mode for exercise. What we can do is go down to the bottom and select a wallpaper that we want to activate every time we go into this mode. So 
I'll go over to my wallpapers uh, gallery right here. And let's say I want to select, you know, this Vegeta wallpaper right here. I can tap done. And now anytime I activate this exercise mode, if I'm going to the gym, you can see that my lock screen will change to that Vegeta. And then of course, when you turn it off, your phone goes back to normal. Now, the next feature we got in One UI 5.1 is the ability to select which apps or what content is allowed to show notifications on our lock screen. So if we go into our notifications in our settings and then tap on lock screen notifications and then go to show content, you can see that there's this gear icon on here. We can tap into here and then you can go in here on an app by app basis and decide which apps you want to show notifications on your lock screen and which apps you don't want. So there might be apps like messages where you don't want them to show up on your lock screen in case other people might be looking at your phone. They can read any private data. And then there might be, you know, other apps where you don't really care about these notifications because it doesn't have any sensitive data. So you can go ahead and enable it. All right, guys, the next One UI 5.1 feature has to do with the camera. And this one is pretty amazing, especially if you like to take high quality photos for your social media. This one is the expert raw feature that you can find in your more tab in your camera. And if it's your first time using this feature, it will ask you to download the application from the app store. But when you go in here, you can see that we have control over everything when it comes to our cameras. We can control the white balance, the focus, the shutter speed, the ISO. We have complete control over all aspects of our camera. And when we take pictures in this camera mode, they're going to be raw photos, which means that they're going to have a lot of data in them and that will allow us to manipu manipulate them and edit them in post-production. So you can see I actually took a picture here earlier and you can see that this right here is a raw photo and we can use an app like Lightroom, which you'll also need to install on your phone. It is free, so you can use it for free. But if we go into here, you can see that I have this photo here. And if we open this up in Lightroom, we have a whole bunch of things that we can do down here to edit these pictures. And if you like posting high quality pictures to Instagram or social media, this is definitely an amazing feature. You can see we can pretty much edit just about everything about these pictures. So it's definitely a really, really awesome feature that will allow you to take really high quality photos and apply a lot of filters and editing to make these look just the way you want. All right, guys, moving on to the next One UI 5.1 feature. This one has to do with enhanced gallery searches. So if we go into our photo gallery up here and then tap on the search icon up here and then go to this search bar right here, you can see we have all of these different pre-populated options in here. So we can search for selfies. We can search for, you know, locations. So I have pictures where I was in Montreblanc. So if I tap onto here, you can see it geotags that photo and I can see all those photos from that location. Then you can also search for selfies. And what's really cool is you can see I have all of these selfies here, but I can filter this down even further for selfies that have me wearing sunglasses. And then I can go even further and add happy. And you can see that this will search for all selfies where I'm wearing sunglasses and I look happy. So if I go to this one, you can see I have a big old smile on my face. This phone just scans all of your photos and recognizes all the elements in them and allows you to do a really granular and specific search to filter down for what photos you want to find. So you no longer have to just scroll around thousands and thousands of photos hoping to find one that you were looking for. You can easily find them by using this search and it works with IDs. If you take pictures of your credit card to remember a number, you can do all of that and you can easily find them through this enhanced search tool. Definitely an amazing feature that came to us with One UI 5.1. Okay, now this next feature is called Big Speed Text Call and I made a whole separate video about it because this is such a cool feature. But essentially what it will allow you to do is use your Big Speed voice assistant to answer phone calls for you. So if you have a phone call coming from an unknown number and you don't want to answer it, in case it's just spam or a scam caller, you can have your AI answer it for you and then it will listen to the, res to the voice responses of the person on the other line and transcribe their voice to text so you can see what exactly that person is saying and then you can make the choice of whether you want to answer that call or reject it. So if you want to see my video about this where I kind of go into detail about this, definitely go ahead and check it out. I'll leave it linked in the description below. And the, the last feature that I want to bring up that we got with One UI 5.1 is the ability to take your full screen applications and turn them into a pop-up window. So if you drag from the top corner like this, you can see that we can turn this into a pop-up window. Now we can drag it around or do some multitasking. Now this was actually available in One UI 5.0, but with One UI 5.1, we can actually bring this back into full screen mode by dragging it back up to the edge like that. And now you can see it is full screen again. This wasn't available in 5.0. We could only bring it down into pop-up view, but not back out. 
but now you can see that we can minimize it and then maximize it again. Now, if this isn't working for you by default, what you wanna do is go into your phone settings, go down to advanced features, go to labs, and then down here, you'll see swipe for pop-up view. Make sure you enable this and now you can manipulate those windows and bring them into pop-up view and maximize them again. All right, guys, there you go. Those are 10 awesome new features we got with One UI 5.1. Definitely an awesome update. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, but that's gonna do it for now. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, subscribe for future videos to come, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.